hop little bunnies it is time for another adventure today that is still in the beautiful city of Lahore and we are at the Defense Raya Golf and Country Club country club and golf course whatever it is I have just had the most amazing three days so I want to show you everything I got up to share the food share the gorgeous junior suite talk to you about the staff and also tell you everything that you can get up to here at this amazing little hidden gem in Lahore. Now, before anything, I'm Angela Carson. I'm in Pakistan for 50 days of luxury travel reviews, cultural experiences, and sightseeing. This is about the two week mark for me. So there's so much more that I'll be exploring. I hope that you will follow along. Unfortunately, today the weather has turned a little bit. As you can see throughout the rest of my video, it was just beautiful blue sky and wonderful. Let's get to it. Starting with the junior suite. Now, when I first walked in, I saw the room and I thought, oh, okay, you know, a room, it's spacious. And then I realized it was a junior suite. Now, the bathrooms are nice and large. For me, it's missing a bathtub, but this is a guy's property more or less um, for families also I'm assuming that maybe the the apartments have bathtubs but most of the time it's going to be gentlemen in here and they don't really care for bubble baths the way that I do so for me it was missing the bath but the rest is amazing dining room and the living room are perfect especially if you're going to be with friends and you're entertaining or you just want a separate space that was wonderful in there and the bed was nice and cozy I slept very well both nights I was here and I'm trying to think what else for the room oh one tip so for me I've been living on a tropical island in Indonesia I haven't felt cold in years um, it's chilly here at night so if you're like me and not used to that the same system that's with all of the hotels is in place here where there isn't heating so ask for a space heater I did that heated up the room it was perfect looks like a baby during COVID, all of the food and beverage is not on display like it normally would be. There's an amazing rooftop restaurant that I'm not able to, that, that I wasn't able to experience because that space is now being used for uh, weddings. It's wedding season right now in Pakistan, so that's been converted over. But everything that I did eat and try was amazing. Now, the place is where I had my big Pakistani meal. And as you can see, it started 
Like, it started naughty and nice. It started with a soup that also had like bread crusting on it. So that's a bit naughty. But then it had a salad, which was healthy. And then from there, it was just pretty much straight up debauchery. There were three different curries that came. There was the most amazing biryani and everything was delicious. They also brought two desserts, one that I hadn't tried yet and I don't remember the name of, whatever the, 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 the brown uh, uh, cylindrical pastry thingy is. That was delicious. I mean, they were both good, don't get me wrong, but dang, that was tasty. That was very good. service a couple of times and one of that was I was just craving a big juicy burger and I know at golf courses the club sandwich and the burger are generally what are just magnificent because it's what gets ordered the most um, by golfers it's kind of a quick high energy meal so I tried their it was like their signature beef burger I ate that whole thing I I almost I would never it was just so good. So I highly recommend that. I bet the club sandwich is out of this world here as well. The room service was impeccable. I ordered breakfast, in, um, not breakfast in bed this time, but I ordered breakfast um, as room service as well. I was really happy with everything that I ordered from room service. I went down to the cafe a couple of times for coffees and just to refuel and sit with my laptop and just not be in the room and that was wonderful. The service is so incredible here that they even ask you how your coffee was at the end of a coffee. Like normally you get that kind of inquiry when you've had a meal or you've tried something to eat, but here, no matter what you do, they are going to double check and make sure that you are happy. It's one of the most in, like intense service levels. That it, I think it is the most like vigilant service level that I've experienced here in Pakistan to date. But you will be, if, if you like to have someone checking on you, you are going to be very happy here at Defense Riot. All right, now golfers and sports enthusiasts, buckle in because they have 18 holes of golf that are, I've seen a couple of the holes and they are just, it's a really pretty course. They also have it's very sports oriented. So where at a normal hotel you would have like a very loungy uh, swimming pool, here it's, it, there are lanes, it's for doing laps, it is serious stuff. They also have squash courts, but it's also not like you would have at a hotel. There is stadium seating behind the courts. It is there for people to be spectators and to watch matches. There was also a room with a couple of, uh, I think it's, it wasn't billiards, it was snooker or, oh gosh. There was a card room as well. And there was someone in there when I was shooting video, but I shot one of the individual rooms and that looks like it'd just be good fun. You could probably, well, bring some drinks in there and it had a pretty little view out onto some greenery, but that looked quite fun. There's sauna, steam room, a little bit of everything to get up to here and it would just make i think for a family this would be quite fun they also have quite a nice kids room so our kids like a kids play area so i'm sure that you could leave your children for a bit they can have some fun and you could go enjoy a meal or go you know relax oh 
Oh, and speaking of relaxing, since I'm not a golfer, I went to the spa and that surprised the heck out of me. I, I'm now, well, I've, I've done about six property reviews, I think, at this point, and only one had a proper spa, really, aside from Defense Raya, and that was the Serena Islamabad. The others have had sort of mini spas that just do massage um, that were a bit smaller next to the pool. Now here they had, uh, I think it was four or five different treatment rooms. They also had a bank of like mani-pedi stations. There's a salon with several chairs. There was another room to do, I think like waxing and facials and just a little bit of everything now i did have some massage i had a petty i did i just i didn't want a full manicure but i had them clean up my cuticles because i've been traveling and they just look scrappy and i walked away completely rejuvenated that my my arms from being on the laptop and editing were just butchered and my legs from you know anyway that was such a good time they also have a line of products that are made here in Pakistan that are all natural products. So definitely plan to book a couple few hours at the spa when you're here. That was a delight. When I first drove in and saw the beautiful entry and it was this blue sky behind it, it just, it's very impactful and it's a really lovely, lovely place. The service is insane. You will be very happy. And the junior, I highly recommend the junior suite. That was just, it was a really nice room to spend a few days in. I have no complaints. Had a wonderful time. You guys will love it. All right, and if you found this video helpful, please do give it a like. You guys have a really great day. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever it is you're getting up to. I'll see you in the next one.